In this example, we're going to conduct the following experiment. Suppose we have a rectangular circuit that is partially exposed to a magnetic field of an unknown amount. Now, if our scale that is attached to our circuit reads a force of 4.0 times 10 to negative 2 newtons, and our current within our circuit is 0.2 amps, what is our magnetic field? Neglect the gravitational pull. Now, so let's look at our experimental setup. Here's our scale that is attached by a hook to our electric circuit. And this scale reads our force. Now, this battery on our electric circuit provides a flow of electrons. And that means electrons will flow from our anode in this direction into our cathode. Likewise, that means by convention, our current must be in the opposite direction, flowing from our cathode in this direction to our anode. Now, these blue circles represent our magnetic field, our unknown magnetic field, and they point out, out of the border, out of the page. This circle with a dot symbolizes the fact that they're pointing outward. If this circle had an X in it, that would symbolize that it's pointing into our board. Now notice also, from this point to this point, from this point to this point, and from this point to this point, our distance is 20 centimeters. And note that this part of our electric circuit does not experience, experience any magnetic field. So we want to find what our magnetic field is, knowing that our force downward is 4.0 times 10 to negative 2. Now first, let's realize the following fact. Let's look at the different forces that our electric circuit feels. Now we have a current flowing downward on this side, on this section. We have a current flowing from X to Y in this direction. And then we have a current flowing upward in this section here. So we want to find what the force is in each section. So let's begin with these two sections. So if our current is flowing downward in this section, and our magnetic field is pointing out of the page, that means we use the right hand rule, and so our force is pointing in this direction. So we have a force going this way, and this force we're going to name F1. Likewise, we have a force on this uh, section, on this XY section, and now our current is going upward. So that means our force is, we use the right hand rule, and our force is this way. So we have a force going this way as well. Let's name it F2. And these guys are vectors. So one force going this way and one force going this way. So if we add these two guys up, we get F1 minus F2 because F1 going this way, we're going to say is positive. That means this guy is negative. And notice that every component here is exactly the same. We're assuming that our magnetic field is constant that our current going up and down is also the same and our length is in both cases 20 centimeters. Now our angle is, <coughs> is 90 degrees. It's perpendicular to our magnetic field and that means this amount and this amount is exactly the same. So these guys cancel out and our force, our horizontal force is zero. So now we only have to worry about the XY, this section on our electric circuit. Now once again, this section has a length of 20 centimeters, and that means if we want to convert it to meters, we simply divide it by 100, we get 0.2 meters. Our current flowing through this section is the same as before, it's 0.2 amps. What we want to find is our magnetic field, and what we know is our force. Our angle is 90 degrees, so sine, zero, sine of 90 is 1. So we use the following formula. Force equals BIL times sine theta. Sine theta is simply 1, sine 90 is 1, and so we simply plug in our force, we plug in our length, and we plug in our, um, um, our amps. And so we multiply these guys out and we bring them over and divide our uh, force and we get our B or our magnetic field is simply 0.04 divided by 0.04 gives us one Tesla. So let's see what our direction is. Well, according to the problem, if our force on the scale is pointing up, that means the force on this guy must be pointing down. So that's exactly what we get if we use our right hand rule. 
In other words, our current is flowing this way, right? And that means our magnetic force is going this way, and so our force should be pointing downward. And that's exactly what we get. Our force, let's call it F3, is pointing downward. And since it's the only force pointing downward, this guy is all by himself. And the force was given to us 4.0 times 10 to negative 2. In other words, we saw that these guys canceled out, so we don't have to worry about them. We only have to worry about this force. And this force was given. So we used our equation F equals bill times sine theta. We rearranged it to F divided by I times L times sine theta. And that gives us our magnetic field.